let's take a look at how easy it is to wire up the Robot Geek system. So first I've got my Geekduino or other Arduino compatible board. I've got some firmware on here already loaded that will interact with some sensors that we've loaded in the Arduino environment. And I've got my Robot Geek sensor shield. The sensor shield fits right on top of your board and breaks it out into all of these three pin connections. Now I can take these three pin sensor cables, make sure that the white one lines up with the S marking. I'm going to plug this one into two. And then on the other side, I'm going to plug in my Robot Geek push button. I'm also going to take another cable, plug it into input output five, and then plug in a Robot Geek relay. Now I'm going to plug in my power. Whenever I press my button, my relay is going to fire. I can even plug in a buzzer or an LED. I've also got analog sensors, variable sensors. So I'm going to plug this into analog input zero. I'm going to move my LED over. The LED is going to change intensity as I move this analog slider. I can also plug in a servo. And as I change my slider, the servo is going to change. I've also got this four pin LCD. Plug this in, restart my Geek Duino board, and the values on the LCD are going to change as I move the slider. And remember, all these sensors will mount onto a workbench or robot. So between the really easy wiring and all the really easy hardware, the Robot Geek system is a really stable and easy way to get started in the world of Arduino.